There are a lot of hidden features inside of Studio One, and I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite today. If you are a Studio One user, scroll down right now and click the top link in the description. I have free vocal presets for Studio One. You just click and drag those presets into a channel inside of Studio One, and you don't need anything else, no third-party plugins. It's all the plugins inside of Studio One. As long as you have Studio One Artist or Professional, and it's updated to 5.5 or newer, you are good to go. So now let's jump on into Studio One and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I have this track here that sounds like this. And the mix is setting pretty solid, but I'm having a tough time hearing that piano. So pretty simple and it's it sounds nice but it's it's just kind of being lost in the mix. So I'm going to throw on an instance of the Pro EQ inside of Studio One. And when you open up the plugin and press play, there will be an analyzer down here at the bottom listening to the source you just put it on and I have it put on the piano bus here. So you can hear most of the piano is sitting inside of this spectrum here. So I know that the frequency spectrum that this is hitting is probably going to fight with the guitars a little bit. So I can come up here, click the sidechain button, and choose what I want it to sidechain to. And I'm just going to choose the guitar bus here. And now when I press play, it is going to listen and show me an analyzer of the piano track. And it is also going to show me a frequency analyzer of the guitar track on top of it. That way I'm able to select the specific frequency and cut it out. So let's take a look. So as soon as the guitars came in, that piano started to disappear and you can see the frequency that they are starting to fight with here. So I have two options. I can either boost this section here with the piano or I can go to the guitar track and cut that section. And as rule number one, I always like to cut before I boost. So let's throw Pro EQ on the guitar bus here. We're going to side chain that to the piano bus. So the blue line is what it's hearing and showing you on the channel you put the EQ on. So I threw this on the guitar bus. The blue line is showing me the guitar bus. The pink line here is showing me the sidechain function. And I can freeze that with this button here. So as we play through it, I can press freeze and it'll freeze at that specific spot. Now I know that I can just cut this section in the guitars and that piano is going to cut through a little bit more. So with it off, then with it on, see how it's starting to cut through and we're starting to make room for that piano. Now let's take a listen to it in the context of the mix. Mixing a song is essentially like putting together a puzzle of audio. Sometimes you have to curve some spaces out and boost some other frequencies to get things to fit together in the mix. And this feature inside of Studio One makes it very, very easy to find out what frequencies are fighting with each other and how to solve them. But there are a few features inside of Studio One that frustrate me a little bit. And if you wanna know what I'm talking about, click this video right here. In that video, I show you what the worst feature inside of Studio One is and how you can overcome it with key commands and macros and actually make it a faster DAW than anything else that I've messed with before. So click that video to watch that now. And now as always, go create.